Magnusites. I'm back with another Magnus Answers. Now that the theatrics are finished, let's get on with this. It's entitled Help with <laughs> Help with Stalkers. Please keep my name anonymous. Thanks. Your videos rock, by the way. You damn right they rock! Ain't nothing gonna Sorry. Sorry, I was about to go into the character. Hey Tyrone, I'm a fifth uh, fifth year student. Did you mean to say fifth? Fifth year student at high school. Thought high school's only four years. You know what? I heard some high schools are putting in like eighth grade and then ninth or seventh and eighth. They're like six year high schools. So all right. Anyway, hey Tyrone, I'm a fifth year student at high school and I've been dealing with a few grade nine stalkers all year right now. It wasn't that bad at the beginning of the year, which is why I ignored it, but now it's getting out of hand and it's making me feel uncomfortable. I'm thinking about just ignoring them since I'll be out of school in a few months, but I don't want this coming back to haunt me in the future. Should I deal with this issue now? And if so, what would be the best way to, way to deal with it? These are mostly stressed. Uh, these are emotionally messed up 14-year-old girls, by the way. Thanks again, man. Well, I'm going to have to answer this one again. Like, you are my little brother. Or, uh, you know, because, or my son. Because, first of all, if you've got stalkers at your age, if you're a senior in high school and they're like ninth graders, eighth grade, ninth graders, whatever, I mean, you're probably having sex. Now, if you, now, if you are having sex and, and this happened a lot when I was old, you know, going to high school, a lot of the seniors was hitting off the, the ninth graders. What you have to understand is that girls and guys, when they have sex, once you orgasm, you release a certain um, hormone. I forgot what it's called. But when it happens, it creates a feeling of attachment. But it's several times greater in a girl. They release a lot more. And that's the reason why, um, you know, a lot of older men like ourselves and grown women know them, you know, themselves. They know, you know, your little love bird will turn into a cuckoo bird, okay? Because they are cuckoo for you now because you the one that that did it. You got what I'm saying? It's 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 the body chemistry. It's not really their fault. The whole thing is with older women, they know what's going to happen, so they're a little bit more careful about who they have sex with and they set their minds up properly so they're able to handle a relationship better than a younger girl. And if you are having sex with you as a younger man, I'm sure you don't know how to handle relationships properly yet. Usually you don't at that age. Now keep in mind all this advice is coming to you uh, from the standpoint of you're having sex with these girls or you're making out with them. Okay, if you're making out and you know what I mean by making out, it ain't just kissing, all right? If you're doing anything with your fingers or your mouth and they are having an orgasm, it's almost the same as having sex with them. It's that orgasm that triggers that release of those, um, you know, hormones. So, now, if you are having sex with them, I would say you want to know should you handle it now or later? Well, it's only a few more months left. Yeah, you could wait it out. You know what I'm saying? But see, I don't know the severity of the stalking. I don't know what's going on. You know, if you had to go, like if you just dated these girls and you know, you had sex with them, maybe you should go to the parents and say something. Maybe you should give them, no, don't go to them, give them a call. <laughs> but that's the whole thing. If you're hiding, if your parents don't know you're having sex and their parents don't know you're having sex, yeah, you could really blow up, but it could possibly stop the stalking. You could talk to some people in the high school about it, maybe a counselor, maybe to meet with you and the girls. That way, you know, you could, you know, <laughs> It's funny to me because, see, I ain't had no stalkers when I was your age. I was a little nerd growing up, and, you know, it's just, it's just funny. 
Uh, I don't even have stalkers now. I had some crazy ones that kind of got really attached, but no stalkers, you know. So you may want to speak with a counselor, the principal, whoever, a teacher, somebody that everybody's cool with in the school of authority that can maybe talk this all out without maybe going to the parents about it, you know. Um, now, that's what I think. I think you should nip it in the bud because it ain't summertime yet and you never know. You could wait, depending on the severity of the issue. If you don't think it's really that serious, wait it out. If you think it's really serious and things could get out of hand, I suggest you nip it in the bud and take care of things now. Okay, now if see if you're not having sex with these girls, all right, and I mean no oral sex, no fingers, no nothing, and they're stalking you, I'm wondering what who, I mean damn brother, what you a mix between Denzel Washington, Brad Pitt, George Clooney, like who are you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> these girls are stalking you in high school. <laughs> if you are not having sex, still nip it in the bud. Go talk seriously. Talk to um, their parents or talk to a counselor, somebody in the school. Having, I think both, both matters can be handled through counselor, principal, or their parents, okay? But uh, you don't need stalkers at this age, man. You're only 18 or whatever. So, you know, I mean, this is, this is going to be really simple to, 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 to get rid of. Or maybe go to the girls themselves and be nice about it. You know, don't be like, yo, bitch. Why don't you stop stalking me, goddammit? I'm tired of your shit. Don't, you, know, you ain't got to do that. You know what I mean? You can just go to them and just be like, listen, you know what I mean? It's, you know, what we had is over. And, you know, just be real cordial, real polite about it. You know, it's like I'm involved with somebody else right now. You know, I would appreciate it if, you know, we can move on. You know, we can still be friends, but please, you know, if you throw them the friends line, that kind of, it lets their guard down and lets them think that they're still going to have some part in your life that could probably save you some time until you graduate, you got what I'm saying? Maybe, you, you know, I don't know if they're stalking you on Facebook and they want to message you all the time. I don't know what's going on, but maybe you could say hi and bye to them every once in a while to kind of keep them happy until you leave, okay? Because at high school, the fact of the matter is, man, Look, if you're a dog and you're sleeping around, you kind of cause this on your on, on yourself. All right, I'm just letting you know. If you are sleeping around and you don't give a damn about these girls, I'm telling you right now, you brought this on yourself. And I should say, good for you. Really, is good for you that you're realizing this. But now you want to fix it. Okay, so if you have if you have the change of heart, and you want to fix it, and you don't plan on doing this shit again. That's good. Okay, so make sure that um, you know you handle this with these girls and make sure, make sure you're not just sleeping around just to get you know your, your rocks off because trust me it, it'll happen when you get older and when you get older they can get crazier they can shoot you they can stab you they can send people to beat you the hell up trust me on this not from my own experience but I know people that done had this done to them so um, yeah go to the girls Go to their parents, go to a counselor, go to the principal, or some other teacher that is cool in the school that you can all talk to, you know, about this and mediate this, okay? Mediate this and get it under control. Because if it's that bad, you know, just handle it, all right? I hope this was helpful, and I'll talk to you later.